Uh, we chose Killing Lions from the Maasai tradition where a young man cannot marry and he cannot own land. He's not really actually considered a man um, or the status of you know, having an eldership in the tribe until he has literally killed a lion. And we just thought it was a powerful, arresting um, metaphor for what it feels like. This book was written partly for me, partly out of these conversations that I needed answers to, and partly for all of the young men that I'm close to, whether that was in school or back home, that just never, never had the opportunity, don't have the father figure for it. They're either friends with their dads and thus have a buddy, but not a father to ask those questions to, or no dad at all in the picture. Mm -hmm. Really wanted to see life and drive and passion and answers to these questions that we're all asking. If you know anyone in, in their early 30s all the way back to just getting out of high school, please get them this book. I mean, honestly, I mean, for those who have loved my writing and the journey of the heart and understanding like a richer spirituality and a Christianity without, you know, all the BS and just like a genuineness, like this is, this is for the next generation. I mean, this is, this is phenomenal. This is gold. This is the manifesto for your life that you've been looking for. This is the roadmap, the guide, the questions that you might be too proud to ask, but you desperately want to know these answers. This is it. This is a manifesto for young warriors. It literally is. It's the guidebook for their generation. It's the questions and real answers uh, that young men are, are seeking. And frankly, young women are going to want to look in on and go, oh, please tell us about their world and their hearts and so it's a manifesto for a generation.